Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com. What up, what up, what up? What's going on, my guy? Appreciate you having me. I appreciate you. I appreciate your patience. You out here doing your thing. So talk to me. When did you get involved with production, and when did you know that this was something you wanted to do full time? Uh, I, I started making beats when I was like, probably like 11, 12. I just used loops and stuff. Um, we graduated high school. My brother KJ, he went hard with the music. Shout out to KJ. And, uh, he said he needed some beats, and I, I knew how to make them, so I just started taking it serious. And they're going up uh, since then. Give me some of the, the, the programs that you use. You hear the Fruity Loops, the Reasons, the Logics. And do you play any instruments live yourself? Well, I play the keys, but I, I started on Garage Man and then just advanced uh, up to Logic Pro. But, you know, I don't got nothing against FL and all the other programs. I just use Logic Pro. Are there any artists out there right now that you know you feel like, ah, if I could get this person, a Wayne, a Jay-Z, a Lucci, somebody a beat, like our sound and they, and they flow and just go together? Uh, you know, I, I want to work with everybody, but uh, the, the the sound me and my brother got, you know, it's it's it's, it's, it's tough to it's it's, it's, it's gonna be hard to find that somewhere else. No lie. Shout out to Westside KJ up in the building. So what you got set up for us today? What you gonna play for us today? Well, I'm gonna play three three different beats. I'm gonna play a song that's already out. Me and my brother KJ. It's on his uh, new project, Hefe Flyway. It's called Blow Your Mind. Then I'm gonna KJ, play. Why, why don't you come up here briefly, just for two seconds? Why don't you come up here and show us? Come, come talk to people, bro. Shout out my man Westside so, so, KJ in the building. How you feeling, dog? You, 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 you're the true definition of growing up hip hop. I ain't gonna throw you out there. Put your mommy and pop out there. Shout out to your mama. Shout out to always doing wonderful, great things out here. When you met this bro, when you, did you did you see production in his life? And when y'all got in the studio for the first time, was it something like this? Oh, this is magical. You know what I'm saying? We something that we gotta keep going. I didn't know he made beats when I first met him. That was like two years after the fact. You got projects out in the streets right now. What are you working on? Let our people know where they can check some of your music out outside of hip hop since 1987. Uh, working on a project with Miles Part Two from Kobe and Shaq we did last year. Uh, I just dropped Hefe Fly Away and I'm about to put out the uh, Let Me Hold That mixtape jacket for beats at the A3C Overwood. Okay, okay. We're gonna be looking forward to that. So yo, I, I gotta ask you, what's a typical, what's a typical session like for yourself? How does it go down? Do you, you know, are you playing instruments live or then you transport them to the computer? How do things go down? And you come from a, a background of music, so this is something that's pretty much in your DNA, am I correct? Yeah, um, well, a typical session, you know, if it's just money making, then you know, it's real, 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 real dark, it's real cold. Uh, I got my MPC and I got my MIDI keyboard, and we just gonna get it in, and Let's do it. Uh, I, I like. I personally like to use live instruments more uh, because of uh, the influences I had coming up as uh, listening to music. And my dad's from the West Coast, so I had a lot of Dr. Dre and DJ Quick. You know what I'm saying? But then you know, what I'm saying I'm from Atlanta, so people like Shardy Press. You know what I'm saying? Shardy Red, people like that. They influenced me too. So it just. Uh, it's, it's depending on what I'm feeling that day, because you know, sometimes I rock out with the NPC, sometimes I rock out with the keyboard. For our audience out here, if people want to get in contact with you, they want to reach out to you to get in a booth, possibly reach out to you for music, how can they go about doing so? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram, reach out to me on Instagram, Moneymaker Miles, uh, on Twitter, money underscore miles underscore. Uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, I got a, my personal project coming out soon. Uh, part two, Free the Villains, is on the way, produced entirely by me. And then uh, me and my brother's project, part two, Kobe and Shaq, is on the way as well. Also, Let Me Hold That by Westside KJ is about to drop after this week, so, so you know, a whole lot of 6 to 9 verses there, my shit. I ain't gonna put no pressure on y'all, but Kobe and Shaq, they, they had three rings. So y'all first project was ring number one, it's about to be ring number two. So y'all gotta give us a third edition as well, cause they, they had three wins, you know what I'm saying? Probably gonna get y'all 30, that's my brother. We even like them for life, we just gonna do it, you know what I'm saying? But also, I thank you for letting me have out here rock out. Shout my hip hop since 1987, niggas. Hip hop since 1987.com.
Oh man, they love what we do because it's real. This is my other half right here, man. Yeah. So you don't get me without him and you don't get him without me. You know? Southside, you've worked with a lot of dope artists in your time. Working with a cat like this, how do you feel like, I don't want to say it's amplified your career, but it's taking you to new heights? Man, this ain't even, this ain't work to me. I don't charge him no money. This is my brother. I want to see him be the biggest thing in the we world. Just, we just get money together. That's, yeah, that's all, all we, we do. doing. Yeah, like and spend that shit too. Yeah. We spending that shit too. <laughs>